just got my postcard that I sent to myself after our first day of high results. I've written, I can and will make a difference in the world. My passion will drive me to achieve all that I am capable of. This is my postcard. Dear my future self, remember to fight for poverty. Continue to take action, make a difference. Be passionate, stay motivated and do not give up. And to never let anything, no matter what anyone says, get in the way of them. Just as long as you've made a difference. Believe in yourself, learn from mistakes or failures, form a goal and take action. Our world, our choice. These are all interesting ideas about justice. I think. Uh, high Resolves is a, a leadership program designed for high school students. Uh, it's one of the only leadership programs that lasts three years a student that sort of generates the whole impulse behind this. Right? Uh, and what's distinctive about High Resolves is that it's a program that takes students through a very progressive, systematic curriculum that tries to build the skills they're going to need to be leaders in the 21st century. To me, the whole essence of the High Resolves program is our motto, which is our world, our choice. And the idea that we can inspire and motivate high school students to see that their choices do make a difference and that they can actually inspire others to realise the same thing. Today's young people are inheriting a world which is very different than the one we grew up in. Uh, there are more severe problems on the planet, uh, each of which is capable of dramatically disrupting our lives. There's a lot of things going on. There's warfare, there's well, global warming, like racism and... 55% of the world lives in poverty. The world's problems are no longer confined to national boundaries. Uh, an H1N1 virus doesn't stop at the border and ask for a visa. And frequently, lots of the problems that the world faces now and organizations face, they're, they're not problems with solutions. The students are going to inherit these and they're going to need a different set of skills to be able to resolve these problems uh, than we have historically trained them. They will be our future leaders and I would like my future leader to be in a position where they are making decisions that are informed. The leadership skills that we require in order to be able to really make a difference, they are before us now in the 21st century in a more urgent way. We take the High Resolve students on a journey. It starts with collective identity and collective identity is really important because unless students see themselves in that global context, there's no point teaching them about justice or about how to change the world through collective action. So it's really the fundamental foundation of our whole program. The first thing that you have that's important <laughs> is a, the geographic location. Now the other thing you have is these clues at the bottom. So I guess the main idea behind the, the exercise, One Planet, One People, uh, it's sort of embedded in the name a little bit. I and mean, we put it as a question mark at the end. Well, well, we are one planet. Are we actually one people? The whole point of the activity is for them to be able to see visually that we are indeed all connected. It really doesn't matter what you look like, what colour your skin is. We're all the same on the inside. You know, the things we like are different, but inside, like our DNA, pretty much makes us it's all the same. one. Yeah. I think a figure was like 99.9%. .9%. Yeah. 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 United. Yeah. yeah. United to be one and as one. The central exercise in the Justice Module is the Oxfam Hunger Banquet. And this is an exercise where students get to experience firsthand uh, the inequality that's on the planet. They are randomly assigned roles. Some are low income, middle income, and high income. And the low income, you guys are not quite so lucky as these middle income people. You are going to have to, first of all, queue for your meal. How does it feel to be low income? Very bad and demeaning. I feel hungry. At, at the moment in the world, um, a lot of people are being greedy and they don't seem to realize or they don't know that there are a lot of people who are in desperate need of help. Our generation, that's us in this room, can choose to end that extreme poverty by the year 2025. I'd take away a bit of inspiration um, to, to make, make a difference to the world. You know, with a bit of patience, a bit of help, a bit of perseverance, I'd be able to change the way at least one person lives and then that might branch out to the way other people live.
The third module that we work on in High Resolves is around conflict resolution. This is a, a really important one because if the students are going to be able to work in groups effectively, they're going to be able to have to deal with conflict. She's saying she's not going to apologise at all to any, for anything. She didn't actually do anything. He not only was he racist, but you may only see one side of the of the coin, and then when you flip it, there are other important issues that may arise. Uh, people need to learn to be less judgmental because people need to really take into account everyone else's opinions and circumstances before they can build up their own opinion of what's actually going on. If we're going to have a different kind of reality, right, one in which conflicts do get resolved uh, in a better way, I think that's a crucial part of what we're doing as well and why it's so important that they get these skills now because then it just becomes part of their habit is to look for other points of view and to, to, to bring those to bear on the problems that they're trying to solve. I think there would be a lot less conflict in the world because if no one's judging anyone else, no one's going to get defensive and close themselves off or, you know, start a war or anything like that. It, the material is all around how do we get large groups of people to mobilize and act as one in addressing an issue. And the way we come at this is through a global warming simulation. And the students get to play ambassadors from 30 different countries. Uh, they are all trying to reduce their emissions, but they're all also aware of the national cost they face in doing this. The main thing you need is listening and an open mind. So the valuable skill is, if I have a great idea, how do I go around talking to them and convincing them uh, to work with me? Uh, if they can do that, that's the start of how they can be leaders in society. If we keep these key, these key things that we have learned, then, you know, change will happen and our world will become a better place or the place that we want it to be. Once the students have been through the four foundational uh, modules, it's really important that they start to put these skills into practice. And so it begins with a service project in the school. Well, the Lightsaber project is about essentially uh, saving energy within our school. The response for um, our Lightsaber project has been really great in the school. Everyone's really committed to saving the environment. But the important thing is that the students get trained in project leadership and they begin to put those skills into, into play. The High Resolve program really gave us that confidence that we needed to believe that we can make a difference. Yeah. You can make a difference. However small it is, it's still making a difference. Like these are real skills we're gonna need in the future. Yeah. The school service project is a good beginning, but the students learn a lot more by trying to actually apply these skills to the real world. Uh, and that's when we partner them with a community organization. Today's Day for Change being held at Wright Secondary College. We're selling chocolate coins. I'm going to go to watch um, UNICEF, and UNICEF is actually having a program called um, Schools for Child in Mozambique, where they'll be building schools and training teachers, handing out books and writing material. We have the Ben with soccer going on at the moment, with all the teachers versus students. The best thing I think I get out of it, it's watching the kids realise their potential, realise that they have the power to do something. Even though we're like, children and students that we can still make a huge difference in the world. Through having the chance to practice the skills that they've been developing through the High Resolves program, they've really got a huge sense of confidence about their ability to act as leaders. The one thing that I've taken away from this whole High Resolves journey I've got this newfound passion and energy for just making change in the world. If I want something to happen and I actually work towards it, I can actually make a difference. I've never considered myself as a leader, but after going through High Resolves, I realise everybody has the potential to be a leader, and truly everyone is intrinsically a leader. I found it a really influential part of learning and I think it'd be a great thing to see in all Australian schools and hopefully for the um, initiative to go global and then we'll rediscuss it with the leaders. Because then everyone is learning these values and 
learning to think about everyone else and not just themselves and then that could change how society is. It is sad that it's come to an end but I don't see it as the end, I see it as my first step in making my life as a global citizen better every day. And if you do that, then you will succeed and you will change something in the world.